too much. <sighs> All right, let's get started. Abs in nice and tight. Feet apart, take a nice big deep breath and let it out. You guys can see and hear me okay. If there's any issues, just unmute and let me know. I have the music at that same tempo, so or same volume, so it should be good. Take a little inventory here as we bring the air up and exhale out. See if anything feels tight. Hold the next one up. Reach for one wrist and take it to the side, back to the center, other side. Take this back and forth a few times, reaching up to the side, up and to the side. Couple more, because it feels so good. Keep the knees slightly bent here. Reach and up and over. And then bring those arms down and just open up the chest and take it side to side with a little toe tap. So drawing the shoulders down, just opening up that chest, making room for that air, making room for the workout. Three, two, I'm gonna keep that toe tap and reach it forward. Good, you can go a little faster or slower. Bend the beat, reach it up. Good. We're gonna keep these arms and do a step touch. Just bring those arms in. You can make it a little smaller, a little bigger. Good, reach that arm up. Good, four more. Feet together, give me a little jump rope. Now you're not really jumping here, just a soft bend in the knee, just maybe even having contact with the balls of the feet and just lifting those heels. If you wanna just jump it a little bit, go ahead. Eight more, it's eight, seven, four more. Good, hamstring curls. You can take this leg out, kind of just step into it. Keep going. My volume just went, ugh. Keep going. Oh, that's better. Instead of hamstring curls, give me knees up. Up. Good, arms up, pull it down. Now that elbow, is going behind the knee, and you're getting a little core work here. To one side, give me 16. Two, three, four, you can also be here. Eight more, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, other side, 16. Somebody just popped on. Oh, it's Mary. Hi again, Mary. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. March it out. Good. Should be getting warm. We're gonna do heel scoops. I'll show you from the side. Scoop those arms and just open up the chest. Nice and big. Bending the back leg, flexing the front foot. Really reaching up. Now, if you can get those arms behind as you come up, get a little bit more mobility to that shoulder. So find you have to slow these down a little bit to get that mobility. Good, couple more. Last one, march it out. Good. Little lateral lunge side to side, feet together. Hold it here, lateral lunge. We're gonna tap that in step, reach. So we have a lot of moves today without the band. We have some with the band. And it'll be more cardio, but we will work in some strength with the band especially with the upper body using that rubbery band. So if you have that fabric band and that rubber band, pull it out. But the first few are gonna be no band at all. And the moves will build. There'll be some repeating, but more options with the repeats. So a couple more. And we're just gonna jack it out after this one. Finish your side and jack it out. Now, low impact, you're right here. Keep going, low or high. Eight more, it's eight, seven, six. We're gonna go to alternating knee skips. Three, two, knees up right here. Skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it. Draw that knee up. You can pull it if you want. You can be right here. Eight more, it's eight, seven, 
six. We go squats down and up. Nice big squat down and up, down, up. Now I want you to touch the floor or come close to it. Make sure your chest is up. Push into those heels. Go a little deeper into those legs. Two more. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale. Roll those shoulders. Get a quick drink of water. We are ready to go. I forgot to turn my fitness tracker on. And we're going to go for it. All right. So I will tell you how long these intervals will be. I'm gonna play with some timing here. Sometimes a minute, sometimes 45 seconds, sometimes 30 seconds. So you'll know what you're doing. All right. First one, 60 seconds, jack, kick, or jack, knee. Option, low impact right here, okay? Ready, one minute, here we go. Now, if you're ready for the kick, kick it. If you're not, do a knee. Or maybe you're ready for the kick and you don't wanna do a kick, you wanna do a knee. And that's okay too. Looking good, guys. So one minute here. Good. Look at that sun shining through the windows, I love it. It's not very sunny here, it's more bright. Good. 40 seconds. So again, when you're doing something for a minute, important to pace yourself so maybe you do some low impact and some high impact okay high impact doesn't have to be painful high impact the proper way is you're jumping with the muscles not flat-footed so you're staying on the balls of your feet in a jumping jack the heels just touch down for a second good I'm on you get a brief rest in between moves Four, three, two, walk it around. Get your, get your air out, recover. Good. All right. Pulse two, squat to a heel lift, not a jump yet. 30 seconds with that and then 30 second squat jumps. Here we go. Pulse, pulse up on the toes. So I want you to get this because if you want to stay in this move, you stay in this move. And I really want you to feel like you're being shot out of a cannon, okay? So really come into the toes, really getting that calf work in that we all need. Good. And this is your springboard for that jump that we were, are going to be doing in five, four, three. When you're ready, two pulses and a jump. When you come up, you want to point your toes when you come up with your jump, just like you do in a heel lift. Pulse two, jump. Come on. Woo. Right, come on. Three, two, one. Walk it out. Not too bad yet. All right, next one is going to be a front kick. Just one front kick to a burpee left kick to a burpee. So it looks like this. Kick, so you kick, squat. Kick, squat, burpee. Kick, squat, burpee. To be a knee, you have 45 seconds. So, keep going. If you are the type of person, and I say this all the time, if you don't like to have your hands down, have those dumbbells there. I should have said this before. You can always put your hands on the dumbbells like this. Okay, so it's kick, Or you can come to fists, okay? Not big a fan of the fingertips, because that hurts, usually. Good, come on. Four is in nice and tight. Make sure you bend those knees. Come on. Four. Three, two, one. Good job, walk it out. Woo. Nice job. 
Side kick, alternating. Okay, so we're gonna side kick, alternating. All right, that's all it is. 45 seconds. Now, if you wanna add a little bit more, do a side kick, jump, side kick, jump. So remember, you wanna lift that leg up, keep going. Lift it before you extend it. So a side kick, we lead with the heel, the knee comes in front, we push it out. Good. Squeeze those glutes or just side to side, good. Again, you have options. You can add a little jack here if you want. Or a jump. Heel lift. You just die in the jump. Do it. Do what feels good today. You can make it a spot jump. Why not? Five seconds. Last one. Woo. Good job. Come on down. You're in an elbow plank here. Nice and low. Your palms, your hands are like this, not hands together. You make a number 11 with your forearms. You can either have the knees down or push to a full, but make sure you're not back here, you're forward. Alternate, tapping the knee down slow. Right knee, left knee. Right knee, left knee. Keep your core in nice and tight. The slower you go, the harder this is. Keep that in mind. Now, if you wanna ramp this up, take both knees down and up. But your hips are down. You're in that pelvic tilt. Nice and slow. Heart rate's coming up because you have loads of muscles working here. Loads of muscles. Lower abs. Again, you can just hold that knee and elbow position if you're just starting out. Abs are tight. Ooh, feel a little quad here. Breathe. Reach to the crown of the head. Don't let that head drop. Four, three, two, one. Come on up. Good. All right, I'm gonna put, you know what? Since most of you have this band, I'm gonna put above my ankles. Next time we do this, I'm gonna use my fabric. Because I wanna show you this can be done if you just have the rubbery band. Next time I will use my fabric. I like to keep us all together. Put a little bit above the ankles. All right. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. We have 45 seconds, and I want you to really get down there low on that tap. Ready? Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Feels a little different. The outside leg moves first. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. If you hate it with the band, don't do it, okay? You gotta keep your knees apart. It feels like you're weird, right? It's like a weird thing. If your band's too easy, Get a tighter one. Okay, this should be, you should be feeling it. I have a heavy one on, but heavy is different with all these brands. Make sure your chest is up. The outside leg moves first. You can also do this without the band. You're gonna feel it. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right. All right, squat down. We're gonna tap out, jump, out, jump. You can out, heel, out, heel lift. 45 seconds, go. This is not a fast move. I want you to feel those legs. Pushing into that, this heel as this toe taps out, Keeping those knees apart. Get lower in your squat, guys. Get lower. I'll get lower too. Remember, you don't have to jump. 
That landing off the jump is toe ball heel, or you come up and you can really squeeze those glutes. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Woo. All right, good job. All right, 180 degree turns. All right, just 180 degree turns. 45 seconds, no taps, no in and outs. You're gonna have your feet here, here. Second. You can do football run, okay? That's your option, is a football run to transition rather than jumping. Your feet are still apart. Remember, if you're going up with your arms, go up with your arms. Know where your arms are going instead of like, oh, they're up, but they're really not doing anything. If you have something above you, be intentional about where you put those arms, right? So if you have like, something above you, a fan or something, you can still work here and be very intentional. Work here. This is very powerful and dynamic. Do that football run if you want. Five seconds. Walk. Nice. All right. The dreaded. Bear football run. So we're gonna be down. You can be on your fifth. You're in a bear position. Okay? Out, out, and in. You're in a bear position. Your core is working. Come on. Go out, out, and in right, and I'll tell you when to switch. You're going out, out, and in. If you started left, just stay left, okay? No big deal. Remember, if your wrists bother you, Hands on dumbbells. Now switch the lead. Out, out, and in. Feel that core. Keep your back as flat as possible here. I know it's hard. If you're struggling with it, maybe you just hold bare. Believe me, your heart rate will go up. Woo! Come on. Keep that band taut. Fry those legs and core. Shoulders, three. Two, one, come on up. Whew. All right. Last one before we go to the floor, heel clicks. You can also do an in out, but you don't want that band to wiggle. If you're doing the heel cluck, your click <laughs> cluck, your, your band wiggles a little bit, okay? So you're gonna come down either here, you could be here with a jump in, or quick. Make sure you're landing with a slight toe turnout. Yeah. Nice, guys. You can also do the drop squat where your feet just come closer together. Mix it up. Right? Woo! Keep your hips back. Don't forget it's about going deep here. So we don't want to just be here if we can go here. Really stretch that band. Come on, you got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Come on down to the floor. Put that band on your shoelaces for bicycles with the band. Now, I want you to keep those feet apart. And I want you to draw one knee in as the other one goes out. Don't forget about this leg, it pulls in. Ready? 45 seconds. They're a little slower. Make sure your feet are flexed. Make sure that band is far enough up on the shoelaces so it doesn't feel like it's by the toes. Now, I want you to draw this knee in, okay? While this leg goes out. It doesn't have to be that low. Your spine needs to be imprinted. You're gonna feel a little off balance here. Make sure you're squeezing those lower abdominals. Really feel the move. Don't worry about the band so much. If you don't have a band, the way to mimic this is hold for two and hold for two. So if you don't have a band, don't worry about it. Or 
you're just starting out. I really feel my obliques here. Otherwise, you're with us for the singles, but they do give you a little hesitation. Breathe, head, neck, and shoulders up. Hands are light behind your head. To make it easier, go up, but still draw that knee in. Four, three, uh, two, one. Come on up. Take the band off. Yowza. <laughs> All right. No band, a little strength work, okay? And then we go back to all that. First one is a shoulder push-up to a walkover. Let me show you. You're in this kind of bent knee position. You do a shoulder push-up, walk, walk, shoulder push-up, walk, walk, okay? If you don't like the walk, walk, just do the push-up. Shoulder push up, walk it over. Keep going so your hands stay in line with the shoulders. Yeah, baby. Keep those hips high on that shoulder. Again, if this bothers your wrist, just do maybe the shoulder push up, okay? Maybe you're right here, okay? Or you maybe have those hands down, just down and up a little bit of core and shoulders. Five seconds. Good, walk it over. Put those heels down, good. You need those knees bent to walk over. Make it smooth, come on up, good job. All right, nice. Grab your band. Above your wrist like that. All right. Feet apart, we're just gonna press out. So see my hands, they're pushing out. They're gonna bring it up and bring it down and bring it up. So it's up, two, three, four, and bring it down. Arms are straight, we're not, what we're not doing is this. We're not doing this, we're going out, 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 got it? Now, wherever you want to hold it, we're going to bring those knees up to a march. You didn't think we weren't going to do anything without bringing that heart rate up. You can hold your arms up here. Keep pushing against that band, yeah? So here, you feel it a little bit more in the back, in the chest. Here, more a little delt. Drive that knee up. Four, three, two, keep the arms, no legs. Bring it up. Lat pull down, pull. Cool, I know. Push. So I'm gonna just come up to show you. I'm pulling. Now, I want you to feel like you have my hand right between your shoulder blades and you're trying to close me in. The lat pull down. So you gotta keep tension on the band the whole time. If you're not pushing against the band, it's going to feel easy. You have to push against the band at all times here. Five seconds. Hold it down and pulse it. So pulsing and pulling those elbows back. Abs are tight. Eight more. Eight, seven. I'm pulling the elbows down. Four, three, two, release it. Say, ouch. Hands behind. I didn't mean to show you my rear end, but that's where it is. All right. You're gonna lean forward. You're gonna be in a lunge. You're gonna draw your palms in. You're gonna bend, straighten. Lunge with the tricep. 30 seconds, not too bad. Now you're hinged forward. It's not a lunge where you're up here, okay? You're hinged. Feet are apart. See how I'm bending and straightening that leg? 
Now again, if you're not pushing against the band, it'll be easy, okay? Come on, push against that band. Reach through the crown of the head. Keep those elbows high. And time, switch legs. Give your arms a little break. Other leg forward. Get into that lunge. And begin again. Bend, straight. So I kind of like everything bent, everything straight. So you see how my knee bends and my elbows bend. Oh, is it over yet? Where are those weights? Give me those weights. I want my weights. Come on. Woo. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Try to focus on the lunge here, guys. Five seconds. Last one. Yowza. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Palm space back. Push and pull that arms away. Upper back. Play hinge forward. Push out as you go up. Push out. Push out. How does triceps feel? Are we still friends? Five seconds, how's that? Can I still be your friend if I say five more seconds? Last one. <laughs> Take it off. Yowza. I know I forgot something. What did I forget? Oh, here we go. Biceps. Put it back here. <laughs> All right. So we're going to add a squat here. Why not? Squat. Elbows in. I just want you to see my elbows are anchored in. When we come up, we're going to add a front raise. Bicep, front raise. Bicep, front raise. Bicep, front raise. Keep going. Make sure you're pushing out on that front raise. Push out. Bicep, push out. Bicep, push out. Bicep, push out now, just the bicep, standing, up and down, up and down. I really want you to focus on your bicep and I want you to push out as you go up, out, 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 out. Getting a little more shoulder here, why not? Four more. Two more. Hold it up. Pulse it up. Take your palms up now. Now push against that band. Keep it small. Feel that bicep. <laughs> Jill. <laughs> Jill's like, is this over yet? Keep it small. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it off. Yowza. Whew. All right. Take it out. Stretch out whatever you need to. All right. We have two power minutes, okay? The first one is going to be a full-on chest to floor burpee. If you don't like that, do Supermans and swimming. You can absolutely do that for one minute, okay? The second minute, and I like to hold something here, are slams. So I like to hold something. So a towel, slam it, slam it. You can jump. Okay, one minute of that. Okay, which one should we do first? 
Let's do the slams first. All right, so if you don't want to use that, use a towel, okay? My nose first, okay? You don't have to hold anything, but it really gets you down when you have to pick something up. All right, feet apart, go over that shoulder. It's not a halo. You can jump with it, you don't have to. Not one minute. That's a tower, come on. You have a little toe turn out here. Now, you can just be here. Believe me, if you just do it with a squat, you're gonna feel those legs. You don't have to jump every time. In fact, you may feel it more without, without the jump. I challenge you to feel that. Get that up, over that shoulder. 30 seconds. I like to mix it up. I'm gonna show you from the side with and without a jump. Here it is with a jump. You need that toe turnout because I want you to feel inner thigh. Okay? It's not a squat, it's a little sumo. Here it is with the jump. Here's in tight, here it is without the jump. Yep. Now, if you don't want to hold anything, maybe you're here. Interlace your fingers. Three, two, one. All right. Full on burpee. Ready? Chest down. Go. Now you can do the super hero you know, with it. You can do the jump with it. You can just do a hand release. I like to lift arms and legs so I get that benefit of the low back. Come on. Almost halfway there. Use your fingertips here to claw the mat or the carpet. Takes the pressure off the wrist. Remember, if you want to do quicker, maybe just the hand release. Or maybe without the jump. Come on. 10 seconds, you get a break. And we do all those over again. From the jacks. Remember those? Three, two, one more. Oh. All right. Ooh. Not repeating is the strength work with the band. So this is about 14 moves, including the two power moves, which will be different, okay? They're more core, core-based. Just to let you know, we have a whole minute of mountain climbers at the end and we have a minute of skater one foot burpee or just skater. So those are your two power moves at the end. Spoiler alert. How we doing? I'm glad you're taking this break. We should need this break. If you don't need it, work a little harder. So like I said, we're not repeating the rubber upper body stuff we got. We're, we're good. We're good on that. <laughs> So next time, I am gonna use my fabric band for the leg moves. You can feel free to repeat what we did. All right. Now to add some spice to these jacks for a minute, I'm gonna start out with jumping jacks, then I'm gonna do one jack up, one plank jack. <clears throat> you don't have to. Any jacks will do here, okay? And if you like those weights, have them ready for the plank jack, okay? Jack, we have one minute. Let's go. Remember, now we're not doing the kick here. So we are just banging out some air jacks. If you like, you can do these. It's a nice variation. Or maybe you do one regular, one air. Okay, either way. I'm gonna start doing the plank jack, air, uh, plank jack, regular jack. Come on, 30 seconds. The 
If you want to do more than one plank chuck, you do it. Make it your own. If you like those plank chucks, do maybe two and two or one and two. Keep your hips down on the plank jack. Yes. Looking good. 10 seconds to go. Maybe you stay with your plank jacks. Three, two, one. Woo. All right. All right. Remember those burpee front kicks? You can do a side kick and a burpee or a rear kick and a burpee, okay? Or a front kick, okay? If you don't like the burpee, you kick, jump, kick, jump, or side kick, jump, if you don't wanna do another burpee, okay? So you got a minute of these. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna do some back, and I'm gonna do two kicks, right, left, burpee, right, left, burpee, or left, right. All right, one minute, go. So I'm doing two rear kicks right now. You do you. Front kicks, side kicks, rear kicks, hamstring curls, maybe a squat kick. Move quickly. Make sure you're squatting. I'm gonna ask my mom if she wants to do some of these when I'm up with her. Breaking some of these. I'm sure she could find a modification. She's usually game for anything. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Woo! All right, elbow plank. This time, we're gonna hip rock to a stack, okay? So my hands are here in that number 11. I'm gonna keep my feet glued together. So I'm gonna stack, reach, stack, reach. Woo, I'm gonna fall back. One minute. Going to that side plank. I know we only did this one 45 seconds before we did those tap outs. Woo. It's hard to stack. If you like, you can have your arms here. It's a little easier, forgot to mention that. So see how my arms are going? Like my forearm is making that number 11, but they're together, especially when you're stacking. Now you could also do this staggered. Let me show you. Feet apart, it's a little easier if your feet are staggered to have your hands out. Okay, you're dropping that hip a little bit. Come on. So stop or stagger. I'm gonna go back to this one. Keep those hips down though. It's very easy here to wanna do this, okay? You wanna keep those hips down. Find that side plank. Keep your toes glued together. That'll help you with the transition. Really find that side plank. Four, come on. Three, two, give me one more. One, good job. Woo. All right. Grab your band. I'm gonna put it above the knees. We are gonna add on another core exercise with the band in a little bit. So I'm gonna put it above my knees. Option is to do what we did before. All right, you have to make sure you keep those feet apart. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Ready? One minute. Ready? Go. Ooh, it's different. Still a little bit more leg if you have the band above your ankles, the rubbery band. If you have no band, you're still gonna feel it. Ooh, 40 seconds. Keep going. How are we doing? Good. The rubber band, if it, you can use it, try it above the knees. Might feel too easy. If you have a, a weak rubber band, 
above the knees. It's gonna be harder above the ankles. So just play around with it. 15 seconds. Remember the outside leg moves first. See if you can go a little faster. Last 10 seconds, come on. You don't have to touch the floor. You wanna keep that chest up, okay? Ooh, leg burn. Last one. Good job. Woo. 180s. Oh, this one's only 45 seconds. Now, remember what I said about strong arms? If you can't go up, I'd rather you here with strong arms. Oh, maybe we can, we can add this. Hold on. All right, ready? Let's see if this adds anything. I'm sure, I'm sure it will. All right, ready? Go. Ooh, there you go. 45 seconds. So when you come out, if you want to add this, crazy as I am, Jill's game, push out. Keep those feet apart. There's a lot of thinking right here. <laughs> push, push, switch, extend, switch, push. How many bands? Can we use in a class? <laughs> Land softly. Five seconds. Two. One. Woo. Good job. So instead of tap to the side on this one, we're going to tap back. All right. Get into the squat. Watch. Tap. Jump. Tap. Glutes, tap it back there. Remember, you can come up to your heels. You got a minute of this one. Keep going. I want you to really squeeze those glutes. The last time we tapped out. Come on, you gotta get down in your squat. Okay, all right. If you don't like the band, don't use it. But you're still doing that same, same motion, okay? Motion, same motion. Maybe you come up here. You feel the glutes on this leg and the one going back. Come on, have some fun with it. Four. Three, two, one. Finish evenly. I'm gonna finish this side. Good job. Ooh, how we doing? How are you doing? I'm gonna change this one. Instead of the heel clicks, we're gonna go lateral squat jump. So imagine something right here. One foot's always behind it. Okay, so it's not a step touch. So one foot's always behind it, okay? You have 45 seconds. You can do a pulse two and jump if you want, okay? 45 seconds. Come on, let's finish this up. Go. Or power arms over your head. If you don't want that, maybe you tap, spot. These are not easy with the band, especially this fabric band. Again, if you have the rubber band, it's gonna be harder at your ankles, okay? So you gauge it where you wanna feel it. These bands above the knees are not as tight, unless you have a super tight one. Oh, you can also be here. I am feeling those legs big time. Come on. The most important thing is the squat, not the jump. So I'd rather you not jump and get the squat in. Five seconds. Two, one. Ugh. Woo. All right. Yay. All right. Come on down. So instead of that bear, we're gonna be in an elbow plank. And we're gonna tap the, toe, the legs out to the side. 
So you're in that elbow plank. You can also do this here. If you're in a knee plank, knee and elbow, you can be here, okay? Otherwise, we're here, out. This is not only core. Now, I don't want you to go with the music. I want you to go slower than the music because I want you to find that extension, bring it in. Your band is stretched on the way in. Your feet are not together. You have that space. Out. So I want you to really feel those glutes. Roll to your big toes here rather than to your to back. We don't want to be back here. Roll to your big toes. That helps you feel it where you're supposed to feel it. Now, if you want to do this up here, you do it up here. Because that feels better for you. Absolutely. Come on. Reach to the crown of the head. You're getting glutes, you're getting abs. Four, three, two, one more on each side. Squeeze those glutes and bring it down. Ooh, yowza. All right. All right. Full burpee. Now, if you don't want to do this with the band on, you don't do it. So when you lift those legs, I want you on the burpee. When your chest goes down, lift right and left. I'm gonna try it with the band, it works, but you're gonna feel a little more glute, okay? Right, left, not together, and then come in and up for your burpee, okay? I'm only gonna give you 45 seconds on this one. So you're gonna start down, right, left, right, left. Now I'm doing the hand release. Right, left. Now, if your back feels okay with it, maybe you do two at the same time. Just do two. I like the right, left though, if I really isolate. Keep your hips down, right? So this is not meant to be fast, fast. This isn't like killer, okay? Just a little bit more leg and cardio and core. I like to keep my toes turned under so I'm ready. Come up. 10 seconds. Keep your chest lifted. Come on. Jump is optional. And bring it up. Nice job. How are we doing? One minute of step touches. One minute, we take the band off for skaters one minute of mountain climbers. And then I would say we're done. Okay? Step touch is kind of like a skater, but it's low. I'm gonna add a little jump. So you're gonna go three, jump, or you can just stay low and just stay right here. Okay? So here we go. One, two, here it is with the three. When you jump, you jump toe ball heel or come up on the toes. Remember where you're going. So it doesn't matter if you jump, just know what you're doing, have a plan. So say, oh, you know what? I'm not jumping this one. I'm gonna go low and I'm gonna just go boom right there. Now you can go one, boom, boom. I'm not jumping. Whew but I am feeling it. 25 seconds. Remember you can do three. You don't even have to do that jump. You don't want that band to wiggle. The important thing is you're going into those legs. Okay, you're not jumping here, you jump in here. So set it up, last one. Good job. We go right in the, um, you know what, take the band off. Skater, one foot burpee. If you don't wanna do the one foot burpee, do a two foot burpee or just do skaters. You're gonna have a little more freedom of movement here. 
Get on one leg. Here we go. Come up. Bound. Make sure you come up. When you come up, don't go here. Come all the way up. When you're in that single leg burpee, draw the other knee in. Okay? And you're down. Good. Nice. Come on, guys. 45 seconds. You got this. Really bound. That's a nice way to slow the movement down. Really bound. Take your time. Remember, this is your core and cardio. Remember, if you don't like to have your hands down, just do the skater with a jump. Maybe a knee bound. Come on. Come on. Right there is your option. Or maybe here. Knee. You're still getting cardio. Okay? You're still getting core. Core. Come all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. When you come up. Three. Right here. A lot of balance. And time. Make sure you come up. That level change is real. All right. One minute of mountain climbers. You can do wide mountain climbers, cross mountain climbers, regular mountain climbers, high knee runs. All right. You can be here with marches, okay? Or sho um, shoulder kicks, okay? Or and cardio. Ready? Set. I'll give you a 30 second. Damp. I'm going to put my hands on these weights to show you how good they are. Ready? Go. Here's a cross mountain climber. I'm not up here. Okay? I can do it with the jump. I can do it without the jump. Here's a regular mountain climber. Aim your knee close to the ground. I can do it without. I'm driving that knee in. Drive, 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 drive. Come on, almost 30 seconds in. Here's a wide. You can walk it. Drop that hip, okay? You can jump it. If you're jumping it, you can add an extension. Maybe you do three. I would do three or one. You need that odd number to always be on the opposite side. Five seconds. Power it. Two, one. You did it. Woo. Bring that heart rate down. Shoulder roll, step touch. Nice. Heels in front. Row that boat. Keep the arms below shoulder height. So I hope you guys like that. Slow it down. Be intentional with your arms. If you have a towel. We're just bringing the heart rate down. That's all it is. Little dynamic stretch. Two more. Last one. Good job. Feet apart. Take a towel or a band. Squat. If you don't have that, right here. Keep your head above your heart. Now give me one of these and a heel lift. Squat. Heel lift. Good. Squat. Heel lift. You guys did amazing today. One more. Good job. Now take the arms up. Behind. Just getting some shoulder and chest mobility. You can do this with a bigger towel. Now, when your arms go behind you, your chest is open and you're in a pelvic tilt. Up. So don't lean back. Just open up and straight for the posture. 
One more time. Hold the next one up there and take it over to the side. Other side. Back to center. Take it behind you. Lift the arms up. Keep the shoulder blades down. Bend the knees, hinge forward. And then go as far down as you want. You can just stay really drawing those shoulder blades away from the ears is key here. You can be right here. You can be here, here. Keep drawing the shoulders away, roll it up. Keep the arms up, bring it down. Woo, lace it, take it out in front. Push, push the world away. Get that C shape through your spine. Now take it to the side. Other side. Like a Tai Chi kind of move, very slow. Back to center. Bring it all the way up and bring it in. Good job. All right, have a seat with me. You can bring your camera down. Take one foot over. Remember, you can be hands behind, but not too much pressure on the hands. So you can also be on your elbows, okay? You can also be on your back, okay? Wherever you get the best, the best stretch. Keep going with that stretch. Hold it there. Intensify it when you need to. Kind of working with that stretch. You know when you can maybe make it a little harder by walking that foot in. Nice. Now straighten the bottom leg. Keep that leg crossed over. Hug that knee in. Sit up tall here. Hug that knee in. Really get that nice stretch. Down behind, but not here. Here. Now only go as far with your neck as you can with your chest. You don't wanna turn your neck and jar something there. Just let your chest and your midsection lead the way here. Breathing into those internal organs. Give them a squeeze and release. Good. Other side with, so bring it in, gentle. I don't wanna force anything. I'm gonna go on my back for this one and then I'm gonna come up. I just wanna ease into that stretch. You can roll that ankle. Excellent job today, guys. Remember, the more you pull this leg in, the more you're gonna feel it in the hip. Now I'm gonna come up, hopefully setting myself up for a better feel here which does feel better. Straighten that leg, take this foot to the floor, hug it in, sit up really tall, like as tall as you can. Just gently pull it in. You're gonna feel a nice stretch right here in the outer thigh. Again, if you want, you can take one hand behind. As long as you're still doing this, doesn't matter. You can even be here. Good, and take both legs out straight in front. Lift your arms up and hinge forward. Flex your feet really hard. Don't reach for those toes just yet. You wanna feel that nice stretch in the low back and in the back of the leg. Start to bring your chest down, but keep your arms up, your shoulder blades in your back pockets. Go to the point where you can hold it mm, like at a scale of five, one to 10, maybe a five, six in terms of a little bit of tension and then bring it down and release. Roll it up, take a nice big deep breath. Hands to your heart. Give yourself a little pat on the back, a little hug. Have a great day and make sure you hydrate and replenish your protein, ideally, you know, half hour to two hours after, get some protein in. All right, definitely some water. All right, it's chit chat. Let me turn this music off. <laughs>